Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the git reset command and how you can use it to get out of some common problems if you've accidentally committed something. And let me just tell you what tools I'm using here. You can see here on my PowerShell window that I'm in a Git directory and it's showing me that I'm on the master branch. This is a tool called Posh Git. It's basically a PowerShell extension that shows you what branch you're on and what changes are staged and ready to commit. And over here on the right, I'm using Redify Git Viz, which is just a free tool that gives us a visualization of what's in our Git repository. So you can see here that in this Git one repository, I've just got one commit with this SHA and the master branch is pointing at it and our head is also currently at this initial commit. Um, so if we just look in the current folder, um, there's just a test file in this repository. Um, so let me just quickly show you the two tools I'm using. Here's where PoshGit is, and you've got instructions uh, down here of how you can install it. And this is the GitViz tool, which is just a handy little utility that will help us see what's going on. So imagine that I make a change. I'm going to use the PowerShell add contents command to just add an extra line to my test.txt file. And I'm just going to say um, mistake. And so if we cat out um, the contents of test.txt, we can see that there is a mistake line at the end of the file. But let's say I didn't realize my mistake and I commit it. So as you git commit dash am commit containing a mistake. Okay, and as we can see here over on the right hand side in git viz, we've now got another commit 2fof, which is the one that we've just added to fof that contains our mistake. Now, suppose I want to just completely throw that commit away. Suppose I decide it's garbage and I just want to get rid of it. How can I get my master branch back to the last good commit, which is 1160? Well, this is where the git reset command comes in. So if I say git reset, I'm going to say dash dash hard. We'll, we'll understand what that means in a minute. And I'm going to say head tilde one. So what does the head tilde one mean? Well, basically it means go back one step from where the head is. So I'm going to reset back to one step back. If I'd said git um, head tilde two, obviously that was not gonna work on this repository, but I could go back two bad commits that way. Or I could instead just put um, the SHA of the commit that I want to go back to. So I could put 1160 here. But I'm just gonna say head tilde one. And we do that. And what GitViz is going to show us is that now head and the master branch are pointing at 1160. And 2FOF is actually still there. That mistake commit hasn't actually got lost. It's not gone anywhere. It's just got nothing pointing to it. And so GitViz is showing it grayed out, which means that Git can actually clean this up. Nothing is actually making use of it. I can also see if I say git ref log, I can see that I can get at the SHA of that mistake commit if I need to. Okay, now if I do a cat test.txt, I can see that not only has my master branch pointed back to the 116 commit, but my working directory has also reverted back. Um, the, the mistake line has gone. And so this gives you a clue of what the hard is doing. It's not only moving where the master branch is pointing, but it's also resetting the contents of my current working directory to what they were at that state. So let's do another git reset. I'm going to say git reset dash dash hard. So we're going to change the contents of our working directory to match the commit that we're going to change to. And I'm going to say 2FOF. I'm basically going to jump back and put the master branch back pointing at the mistake branch. And once git viz is redrawn, now we can see that we're back to exactly where we were before we called this git reset hard head tilde one. And if I do a cat of test.txt, there's the mistake back again. So now let's do a git reset again, but this time we won't do dash dash hard and we'll see what 
a soft reset does. So if I say git reset head tilde one, what we're going to do is going to put the master branch pointing back at 1160, but we're not going to change the contents of our working directory. So test.txt is still going to have the line mistake in it. So let's do that. And we can see git viz tells us that now our master branch is pointing back at 1160017, but the contents of the test.txt file still have the mistake in. So if I do cat test.txt, there's the mistake. And so what I could do now is I could decide I want to fix that mistake. So let's add another line fixing the mistake. And now if I say git commit with a fix, now I've got a new commit that contains the fix. So a soft reset is great for when you accidentally do a commit too early. And you just want to go back to the point where you had been about to commit and make a few more changes. That's when you want to do a git reset head tilde one without the dash dash hard. Let me show you one other thing we might want to do with git reset. Let's imagine I make another change. Let's so add some content to test.txt and let's say I'm starting to work on a new feature. And I do a git commit new feature. And I suddenly realized that I didn't mean to do that on the master branch. I wish that I'd created a separate feature branch. So what I want to do is get into a situation where a feature branch is pointing at this new commit 097 and master branch is pointing back at 5AF. So how can I do that? Well, I can just say git branch feature. It's created me a new branch pointing at this new commit. And now we want to move master back to point at the previous one. And we know how to do that because that's a git reset. We're currently still on the master branch. I didn't switch to the feature branch. So if I say git reset, we're going to be moving where the master branch is pointing. And I can say dash dash hard because I don't really need to keep what's currently in the working directory. The feature branch is pointing at that. And I can say head tilde one. And so now master is back where it was and feature contains our new commit. So that's three uses for resets. First of all, to just completely throw away a commit that you're not interested in, just do git reset dash dash hard head minus one and you can orphan it. Or secondly, if you committed accidentally too early and you just want to make a few more changes before committing, then do a git reset without the hard flag and then you can just add a few more changes and recommit. And finally, if you'd meant to create a new branch, but you forgot, you can just create a new branch pointing at that commit that you just created. And then when you do a git hard reset, you're not going to lose any reference to anything because the branch you just created has got a reference. And so you can safely move the master branch or whatever branch you meant to move back to a previous commit and you've got the branching situation that you want. Now, the one thing to bear in mind is that you should really only be messing around with Git resets before you push to the central server. Once you've pushed to the central server, then it's a much more tricky proposition to mess around with where the various branches are pointing because other people on your team may now be basing their work on top of commits that you didn't intend to be in the master branch. So I hope you found that useful.